Hello, folks. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so hopefully this one goes a teeny bit better than the last one yeah, went. Last one was great. Um, we're here to talk a little bit more about um, seeds. And I have um, a seed that we just dissected that has two cotyledons. Uh, so it is called a dicotyledon. And then an example of a seed that is a monocotyledon, meaning it just has one, one cotyledon. And um, Mrs. Fortune and I were talking about some things that maybe if you have some house plants or um, things are starting to come up in your garden and you want to go around and do a little bit of um, examining and classifying, you could maybe be able to tell, you, you could tell if your plant that you're observing came from a seed that is a monocot mm -hmm. or a dicot, um, monocotyledon or a dicotyledon. And we were going to tell you some of the things to look for. So um, plants that are monocotyledons, one, and of course there are always exceptions um, in nature and in science, but plants that are monocotyledons um, have leaves that have parallel veins. So just like parallel lines um, don't meet, the veins of, uh, uh, that, are, that are parallel um, look like they're never going to um, cross. So this is um, the spider plant mm -hmm. has, is a nice example of a plant with um, parallel veins. Um, so monocotyledons, plants that are monocotyledons, one of the first things to determine, uh, to try to sort out if it's a monocot or dicot is to look at the venation of the leaf and if it is parallel veins, um, there's a real, real good chance it's from a monocot. Dicotyledons um, have veins that are called uh, reticulate veins and sometimes it's a little bit easier to see, uh, sorry, behind. So reticulate comes from a Latin word rete that means net and if you were to look really closely you'd see what looks like a really complicated network of um, crisscross, it, it looks like a net. So um, this is an example of a reticulate vein uh, leaf. And so that gives me an idea that it is from what kind of a plant, what kind of a seed? Uh, a dicotyledon. A dicotyledon, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, um, so you could go around um, and if you have house plants or if things are growing outside, you could start to examine the, the leaves and find out um, you know, you could, if you know the name of the plant, maybe you could make a column for monocotyledon and dicotyledon mm -hmm. and, and put it, um, classify it that way. You could make a little yeah. chart. Um, another way that you can tell um, if a plant is a monocotyledon or a dicotyledon is by looking at the flower parts. Um, now, my yard doesn't have so many flowers coming up right now. Um, I've seen some snowdrops in some places, mm -hmm. um, but uh, maybe you have some fresh cut flowers, some in your house. Um, if not, I just want to tell you that um, you can do some counting um, when you have some flowers in front of you and plants that uh, come from a monocotyledon have flower parts in threes or multiples of threes. Mm. And plants that come from a seed that's a dicotyledon most of the time have flower parts in fours or fives or multiples of fours and fives. And nature's amazing. It is super cool and math is everywhere. Um, and the last thing, which I know you won't dream of doing this right now, but um, when you, uh, if you maybe if you're going out and doing a little bit of weeding uh, to get your yard ready for the upcoming growing season, a way that you can tell um, by looking at the root system is that um, monocotyledons have a kind of root system called fasciculate roots mm -hmm. uh, from a word fascia that means like a bundle. And dicotyledons generally have one really long tap root. Yep. And again, there are always exceptions to um, these patterns in nature, but this is a pretty good guide. So you could um, go around and do some observation and some classifying. And just really quickly, I've written up the, um, the characteristics um, and some kind of, is it all on? I can't tell if it is. I've heard the plants. Thanks. Very okay. okay. Yes. All right. There we go. Yay. Okay. So, monocotyledons, flower parts in threes or multiples of threes, parallel veins, fasciculate roots. Ball. Dicotyledons, flower parts in fours or fives or multiples of four and fours and fives, reticulate veins, meaning net and a tap root. Mm -hmm. So um, check it out. See what you find. And if you go and find anything cool. Um, or you've done some classifying, take a picture, send us a video, send it back. 
Uh, we'd love to see, see you and hear from you. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye, Bye. guys.